Welcome to PLN tutorial number eight. In this tutorial, I'm going to jump the gun a little bit and I'm actually going to uh, talk you through how you can change the header on your blog. So at the moment, we're using the header that has got an avenue of trees going to the distance with somebody walking down a road. And I'm actually going to change that image to one that I have um, designed myself. Now, I'm not expecting any of you to do this at this stage. Um, this is just to show you how you can actually start manipulating your PLN and how you can really start turning it into um, something that is a personal learning network and not just a generic design. Okay, so let's go into dashboard once again. And on the menu on the left hand side, go down to appearance and click on the down arrow next to it and then you'll see you're given a number of options and go and click on header. And so this will take you to an area um, where you can actually change the header. Now if you don't have your own that is designed, WordPress do give you um, another eight there that you can use, but I'm actually going to upload one that I have designed, and I've designed it very specifically. So here it, it says to you that the images need to be um, 940 by 198 pixels, and I've designed one that is, is pretty much that size, so there's not a lot of cropping that needs to, needs to go on. So I'm going to select my image, and then I'm going to upload it. And what happens then is I'm actually given um, a chance to uh, because my image is a little bit too big, I've got a chance to actually change where um, what part of the image is going to be shown, basically. So I'm just going to move this down a bit so that I get as many of the figures in as I possibly can, or as much of each figure. And I'm happy with that, so I'm now going to crop and publish. And then I'm going to go and have a look at my site to see what that looks like. So my page now has got um, my own image in there, and I'm quite happy with that. And as we go through these video, video tutorials over the next few weeks, and we're going to change the template anyway, I might have to change that again. But I just, as I said, I just wanted to show you that you can really start to uh, manipulate what you've got there and turn it into something that um, is relevant. Now, uh, because two of my pages are actually called Diversity and Visual Arts Education, I thought this image was quite good in terms of um, uh, you know, being applicable to that notion of diversity in your classroom.